everyone and welcome back to the week's nest in today's video i have some dollar tree diys for you these are going to be modern farmhouse with that boho vibe which i just love so i cannot wait to share these projects with you today also, today's video is a collab with my friend Yasmin over at KB Decor Crafts. She first started on Instagram and has made her YouTube recently. She is crazy talented, shares a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs, budget-friendly decor, and you guys will just love her channel if you have not checked it out already. I am so happy I get to call her a friend. I love her and you will love her and her channel as well. So I will have her channel and her video down in the description box below. So be sure to go show her some love and check out her video once you are done watching this one. So let's get into today's DIY. Our first boho inspired DIY is going to be this wall hanging using Dollar Tree items and a drop cloth. The supplies you will need for this wall hanging is a scrap piece of drop cloth, black acrylic yarn or whatever color you want, Dollar Tree natural jute, some cotton yarn, I used cream, a needle, a Dollar Tree dowel, and some hot glue. So to get started, I just had a scrap piece of drop cloth. Any size will do. I will put the dimensions of what I use down in the description box below, just so you have an idea. But I trace with a pencil a diamond shape. Looking back, I should have used a marker. Now going in with my black yarn and a needle. This is a crochet needle that you would use to like weave in the ends when you're done with the project. A regular sewing needle is fine. I just find a larger needle is easier for this. I'm going to or thread that, string that on, whatever you wanna call it. And following the pattern, which is not coming up on the camera, but I can see it, I am going to just stitch a diamond shape. You could do anything you want. You could do squares, circle. This is a really fun project and it allows you to really to be creative. Um, I just suggest that whatever shape you are going to do, you just trace first so you have a pattern to go off of. And I decided to do short stitches. You could do long, you could do zigzag, really like the possibilities for this are endless. So I started with a black diamond and that is what I'm doing in the center of this wall hanging. I like working with the drop cloth because the yarn with the needle goes through very easy. And once I am done with this diamond, I will show you how I knot the thread in the back so that everything stays nice and secure. Once I have this diamond shape complete, I'm gonna flip this over, cut the yarn and make a double knot, making sure I pull not too hard, but hard enough that it stays in place. If you pull too hard, it's gonna cinch the fabric. So now I'm gonna do some stitch lines. I'm gonna do two lines on the bottom of the diamond and two lines on the top. A basic stitch going from the front and the back, just like you would do sewing. Again, not worrying about that strand where we started. I will tie that in the back once I'm done. But I went ahead and did this, like I said, on the top and the bottom. Um, what kind of inspired this wall hanging is Liz Fenwick DIY, couple videos ago did the same kind of concept but in a pillowcase and I knew that this would look really nice with a wall hanging especially adding some pom-poms and tassels like we will be doing in a minute so that is what kind of struck the inspiration for this project so this is what it looks like with the two stitches on the bottom and now I'm just going to do two stitches on the top again make sure you flip over and double knot the yarn on the back and don't worry, I know that the ends of this are frayed and this is wrinkled. I iron it before I complete the project. And like I said, you can repeat those same two lines on the top. I decided to do the same stitch and then a longer stitch to switch it up a little bit. Moving on to the tassels, I will put the size of this cardboard either on the screen here or in the description box. You're going to take your yarn and you're going to wrap it around 10 times around your piece of cardboard, cardstock, just anything that doesn't have any give to it. Then you're going to cut the yarn on the bottom 
and then cut all the strands together. Taking another piece of yarn that you want to be long, especially because we are going to be sewing that on the, or attaching it on the bottom of the wall hanging, you're going to attach that to the top of the folded yarn and make a double knot. Then you're going to cut another piece of yarn and that's where you're going to make the cinch or the top of your tassel and you're going to double knot that. Don't worry if the yarn is long, you're going to trim the tassel to size anyway. So I did this 15 times. That's the amount of tassels that I felt gave this a full look. And to attach the tassel, you're going to take that top piece of yarn that we saved initially to make the top of the tassel, attach it to your needle pull the needle through the back and then in the back you're going to make a double knot that way it secures it. You can also hot glue these tassels on. I just found that using the needle just to get the two threads to the back to make the double knot is what held them on more securely and evenly. So I did that for all 15 tassels. Again, putting that top two strands that we did the initial knot for the tassel, putting them on the needle, threading that through to the back and then making a double knot. pom-poms we will be using Dollar Tree's natural jute as well as a cotton yarn. I use a pom-pom maker which is by Clover. You can get it at any craft store. I'm going to put that down in the description box if you're interested and I'm also going to link to a video that I did that has a pom-pom tutorial so you know how to make them with this maker. It is super easy and then you get fun pom-poms that look like this and like this. the Dollar Tree large high temp glue sticks, which I've really been liking, that is how we're going to attach these pom-poms. I'm going to have these pom-poms in the middle of our stitched lines and the tassels. So I decided to alternate. I did jute, cotton yarn to jute, a cotton yarn and a jute just to kind of break it up a little bit. And surprise, surprise, you know I picked the jute and the cotton yarn because it adds texture, which you all know I am obsessed with in my projects. Now taking one of these long skinny dowels, these are from the crafter square section at Dollar Tree. This is what we're gonna use to hang our wall hanging. So I'm gonna flip it over, put the dowel at the top, having enough room that the top of the drop cloth can be folded over with some hot glue. And then before I hang it, I'm going to trim the top and the bottom, making sure, or not the top and the bottom, excuse me, I'm going to trim the back and the front of this wall hanging, making sure that all the yarn is even and that no pieces are longer or shorter than the other. So this is totally optional, but when I looked at it, I always like to step back with my projects and just kind of take them in a bit. I still felt like this was missing something and you all know my obsession with jute. So I was like, this project just needs more jute. So you could do any color as you want. Again, all my projects are for inspiration, but I decided to again do that simple stitch that we've been doing this whole project and make a large jute square with the Dollar Tree natural jute going around the diamond. I love this. Again, you could do any pattern, any design. Um, this was a really fun project for me. I really enjoyed this and actually this was a last minute project. I already had this video all set and I just felt like I wasn't happy with one of the projects so I swapped it out for this one and I loved it. So once I was done with the square again I made sure that I flipped this over did a double knot to secure it and trim that jute and then I'm also going to cut a piece of jute and tie on either side of the dowel at the top and that is what I'm going to use to hang this wall hanging. And this is what the boho wall hanging looks like. I am obsessed with this. I feel like it definitely has that high end anthropology look to it using scrap fabric, Dollar Tree items, and some yarn. I'm just, I love it. And I have it paired with a whole bunch of other 
boho modern farmhouse DIYs that I've done recently on my channel, which I will also link down in the description box below. But I just feel like everything just flows really nice together and it definitely has that boho decor look that I just love with lots of texture. But you should know. For our next boho inspired Dollar Tree DIY, I am drawing some inspiration from these Pinterest kind of like geometric wall decor pieces. To make this super budget friendly, I'm going to reuse a Dollar Tree picture frame, which definitely has seen better days, but I'm all about reusing things over here. I'm going to carefully take out the glass and then taking a piece of white structured felt you can use cardstock, poster board, whatever you have. I'm just gonna cut that to size to fit in the frame and this is going to act as kind of the back piece for our piece of wall art. So I'm going to take a brown, a tan, and kind of a turquoise um, piece of felt. These are the Arteza structured or stiff felt, I think they call it. And basically you're just going to draw and cut out two diamond shapes, one larger and one smaller. Now you're gonna see me do this in two triangles. The reason for this, now you're gonna see me make it a diamond. The reason I did two triangles is because I did not know the direction I was going with this. Let me know if that happens to you when you are crafting. Like I kind of had an idea and then I wasn't feeling the triangles. So two triangles with one upside down makes a diamond. So if you're recreating this, just do two diamonds, that makes it so much easier. So I have the turquoise as my smaller diamond and the tan as my larger diamond and I'm gonna kind of put them together, kind of half stacked on each other and hot glue them on this white piece of felt. This is Arteza felt, I think I mentioned that before and I enjoy using this. Any stiff felt or structured felt would work and then I also decided to cut out a small square just to add another shape to this. So once you have the white felt or whatever your backing is in your picture frame, I just first laid out and kind of eyeballed how I wanted the two diamonds and then I am going to just hot glue those right on top of that white piece of felt. I am a neutral girl, but I really love the pop of turquoise. I feel like it's so much fun for the summer and it just complements neutral decor really well. So on the border of the Dollar Tree frame, ideally you're gonna wanna take a paint pen for this and dot like I'm doing. And then I just did diagonal lines on the four inner corners of the frame. The reason I'm saying ideally is because I used a dry erase marker by accident. So I had to go back with my paint pen <laughs> and go over that. But I like, again, that pop against the white. I really like this. It definitely has like an anthropology kind of look to it. Very bright, great for summer, and just definitely complements modern farmhouse and boho decor using felt, which is super budget friendly, and Dollar Tree items. Our next boho inspired DIY is going to be a cute accent tassel that is complementing this really pretty horse picture I got from Hobby Lobby clearance last year. I will be repurposing two DIYs which I could put down in the description box below. I will be using the beads from this boho wall hanging I did a while back and some yarn from this boho kind of hanging wall basket um, that I also did a while ago. So to make this tassel, we're just gonna make a larger version of the tassel that we did in the beginning for our boho wall hanging. So for this, I am mixing cream and white cotton yarn. Any length that you want is fine, it just depends on the size tassel you want. You're just gonna fold those cut pieces of yarn over, 
take another piece of yarn long enough that you can tie it at that top fold and that will not only secure the top of the tassel but I made sure that I cut it long enough because I wanted this to have a wood bead kind of garland top so double knotting that yarn we are going to set that aside and that is what we will be using to string the beads and then we will take a, another piece of yarn and this is what we will tie to make the kind of head of the tassel. Same way we did as the black tassels for the wall hanging, just doing this on a larger scale, which I feel like is fun to kind of add larger tassels, even though they're really simple. Like I'm gonna show you draped on a picture, it just really adds like a nice like decorative touch. So I'm just gonna do whatever pattern I felt like doing with these beads. I love these. These are from Hobby Lobby. I could try to link these. I just love the shape of them. They're a little bit different and I feel like they definitely lend to a more like boho modern farmhouse look since they have different shapes than just the round. And once I had those all strung on, I just looped around twice or three times actually the top of the tassel and then I created a knot just to secure the yarn and then I trimmed that with my scissors. Just have to give your tassel a haircut to the length that you want and that is it for this. I love the simplicity of this. I love the size of the tassel. I love using like wood beads. I left them unfinished. You can finish them if you want, paint them, stain them. I love this with this horse picture. I love pictures like this and I scored this for like $12 on clearance last year at Hobby Lobby. It was originally $50 and I feel like the beads and the tassel definitely just complement this so well. Our next boho inspired DIY is going to be this tribal vase and I styled this with a Dollar Tree greenery stem. So the inspiration from this actually came from Home Depot. They have these really pretty tribal vases so I wanted to kind of do my own take on it. I have had this vase from Target a couple years. I'm just not into it so I decided to carefully cut off that jute webbing. Of course I saved it because you got to save all your scraps because I'm probably going to use them in a video like soon like I always seem to do. And I'm going to give this vase one coat of Waverly's chalk paint and mineral making sure that I also paint the inside so that you don't see the pink. The mineral chalk paint it's seriously like one of my favorite neutral colors so to go with this i'm going to take my dollar tree paint pen and first start out on the top just kind of making some lines and dots the fun thing about like tribal prints or prints that fall into kind of that modern farmhouse look is that you really could do anything so i just like to kind of throw on a podcast and whatever shape or design comes to my mind that's kind of what I go with. And then I also like the diamonds, as you could tell, because that's like a reoccurring shape in this video. So I just did some diamonds, some with dots in the middle, some with smaller diamonds. I was kind of going with the same idea that I did for a recent DIY. It was also boho decor with like a pillow. So I kind of went with that same look for this vase, making larger shapes, smaller, some lines, some dots, just kind of whatever you're feeling for this. It's just fun to be creative and just kind of see whatever you come up with on the fly. And this is how it turned out. I love this. I put this on top of this mug rug that I made also in the same video that I referred to. I have lots of repeat DIYs you'll see in this video, so I will link them all down below. I'm obsessed with these Dollar Tree long greenery stems. It's so nice to see nice greenery options at the Dollar Tree, and I feel like it just pairs really well together.
our last boho inspired DIY is going to be a faux small basket that I put on my basket wall in my living room. And I drew some inspiration from Pinterest for this. I could put the Pinterest post down below. I think this actually was an Etsy post in Pinterest. But I'm going to use the Dollar Tree burner covers. They come in a set of two and I will be using the smaller one as well as some dot, do cannot talk guys, some Dollar Tree nautical rope. Wow, say that one like five times fast. I can't. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the center of this and kind of make like a ball with the rope. Hot glue that going in a spiral starting from the center and then just hot glue a little bit as you go. I wanted more hot glue in the beginning and at the end of this to just help secure everything. And that's it. You just keep wrapping until the entire burner cover is covered. And once I had all the rope on there, I went into Cricut Design Space, cut a mandala print. You can also use a decal. I know Dollar Tree does have mandala decals I've used before. You can do a free printable, cut that out, and then just Mod Podge it on top. And I love this. It complements my basket wall I have in my living room really well. And I mean, you could tell it's not a basket, but with the rope, and the mandala, I feel like it definitely just goes with the boho vibe that I have in my living room. So I hope you enjoyed these high-end inspired boho decor Dollar Tree DIYs. That's a mouthful, but I hope you enjoyed them and I hope they gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget. This is one of my absolute favorite styles to do. I am so happy that it seems to kind of become a little more popular because it's just so much fun to do for me. So I really hope that you got some inspiration from what I showed you here today. Don't forget to check out Yasmin's channel, KB Decor Crafts. I will have her channel link down in the description box below. And go show her some love and let her know that I sent you. And if you were stopping by from Yasmin's channel, hello and welcome. I would love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my Weeks Desk family. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, say hi in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh. We got this.